Hello my crafty friends, this is Grace and welcome to another video. I am sharing with you the items that I put together for my um, February March homemade kit which is um, inspired by the February counterfeit kit um, challenge and I will make sure to link up their blog on the description below or if you're watching this on my blog it will um, I will make sure or it will be in the blog post. So make sure that you um, see that. So if you are not familiar with counterfeit, I had just recently saw them or recently got acquainted with what they do. Basically they have a kit that they pull from kit clubs or other companies like that where that will be your inspiration to put together your own kit from your stash. So you know me, I love putting together kits for my stash because it helps me to make a dent on the items that I already have on hand and um, it inspires me to go through and create something that is not usually is not in my normal comfort zone so um, let's dive into it um, I will make sure to add also um, when I post process this video to add a um, an image of the kit that um, we are basing this off of. So first of all, I put all of my kits that I put together in these iris containers. Um, I purchased them at Michael's. Sometimes they go on sale for like three, four, or ten dollars. So it's pretty fairly inexpensive. I don't want to say cheap because it's not super, super cheap, but it's inexpensive. And um, I also buy these inserts. So these inserts are separate from your containers. Um, I think they're like six dollars I want to say and um, but if you use your 40% coupon that's not bad. Um, I like these because then I can put all my little embellishments, little items that I don't want floating around in this bigger container and they're the um, compartments can be rearranged so you can put them however it fits your products. So um, first of all, I want to tell you that the what I did with the counterfeit um, kit was that I grabbed all of the items in the kit and then I put them in a the Pinterest board. Um, you can do this uh, if you have a Pinterest or you can just kind of put them in a Word document, whatever works for you. And then I studied each of the products and then I went to my stash and see which one would be similar. So um, I will make sure, again, to link up the kit so that you can see what was in there. But they have a lot of like new items. Um, for papers, they had a lot of Amy Tangerine and Maggie Holmes. And then um, also for embellishments. And um, the color scheme was about... Um, kind of a, a dark blue and then there's a teal or turquoise and then it also had some pinks um, some uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, gradient pinks and um, I think there was some green in there so and then there had um, the Amy Tangerine script letter thickers for title so um, I grabbed that one and this is what I pulled together um, I have these stickers um, as you can see there's not a lot this is from Heidi Swap um, it is from her memory memory planner lime and it's just, just a little bit of stuff but it had the pinks and the gold and the blacks so I like that one now I pulled this out because um, it had the script happy and um, in one of the papers, it had um, a script hello all over the paper. And so it kind of inspired me to find like script words in my stamp stash so that I can recreate that if I ever want to do a whole paper background that has the same word. And then speaking of that paper, I also got this stamp that says hello. Now this one is not, you know, it's serif, so it's block type of lettering but it had the word on it so I thought that would be nice to incorporate as well um, this sticker sheet is um, new to me I haven't touched this but it is from the Dear Lizzie I think it's a documented line and it has the teal one so I like that and also the pink oh and I think there was another paper there that had kind of a watercolory effect and so that's why I grabbed this one too because it has that same effect and then I just grabbed this chic tags paper because um, I want to use it up and I think it would be good to add for you know finishing touches and then I also wanted to use this gold scallop trim 
because it had some gold in the kit too. So I thought that would be nice. And just a few chipboard. Um, the kit inspiration had some arrows. And so I thought I'd have some arrows and also it had some hearts there. And then I'm just going to grab that one. Um, this one had some flares. It doesn't really match the color scheme, but I thought I can work that in. And then um, I have some silver stickers from Freckled Fawn that I think I could use with this kit as well. And then they had, so the Amy Tangerine stickers that they had was um, just basically words, but uh, I don't have enough of those words that would work well with this kit. So I just pulled out the actual alphabets and I think that will work with this kit too. And then I just have mini stickers that has the blue one. That's why I grabbed it. So maybe I can use the word stickers for that. Or maybe I can use this one too. We shall see. And of the papers. Um, so the card stocks that I got are... So this is the... It's the card stocks that we used was very similar to this. It's more of a teal. And then I did pull out two kind of navy or dark blue cardstock in case I want to do a double page spread. And then this one had the pinks. Now the reason why I got this one is because there's a lot of things that I can cut up. This is an old paper from GCD Studios and it had the blues and the yellows and the pink. So I like that one. Now it had a paper that had some scallops on there and so I found this in my stash that might work really well comparable to the one in the kit and I think this one is a studio calico and then this one is a die cuts with a view paper and it just has the light blue like I said I put together I will make sure to link up the my um, Pinterest board as well so you can see the papers that was um, included in the kit and then this one has the flowers um, there was some sticker sheets um, in the kit or in a sample kit that had flowers, kind of a watercolor effect. So I pulled this one out. This one's just a Recollections brand, but I pulled that one out. That might be good for um, hand cutting these flowers. And then this one has the dark blue and the pinks and the turquoise. So I grabbed this one. This one is cut and paste from My Mind's Eye. And this is the back side of that. Okay, herringbone type. And then they also had some paper that had uh, just a bunch of script. And this one is Mr. and Mrs. A Very Old Teresa Collins line. And this is a wedding themed. But I'm thinking that if I put gesso or um, some kind of modeling paste on there, that um, the words won't really matter the kind of words that's on there. It's just very scripty. And then the back side is a wedding page. And then this is my kind of one of those background turquoise one. This one is Bow Bunny. And it's Mamarazzi, so it's a fairly old line. And then they also had the ombre effect paper there. And I found this from a Chamel paper line that I have. It's just hearts, and it's kind of ombre in there. It's just one-sided. And then this one is another ombre. I believe it's from the same Chamel paper line. So it goes from dark to lightest, and it just has dots. And then I just grabbed this black one just for kind of a more neutral paper, also from the Chamel line, diagonal black. And then it, um, so this one, I pulled this because of that big hello paper that was on the kit. And I just grabbed this because it doesn't have all hellos, but it has that script. And um, what I'm thinking is it would be nice to like maybe um, watercolor some of the words on there to add some color and then use it as a background. And this one's from Die Cuts with a View, as well as this black triangle one. It did have triangles too, but I think the triangle in the um, a sample kit was blue, like navy blue and yellow. So that is my kit. Um, as you can see, it's a fairly skinny kit compared to the ones that I put together before, but um, we're nearing the end of February. And um, for some reason, I think I just need to like just take a break, but um, I'm kind of losing my mojo lately. Can you believe that? Um, not so much like the mojo, it's just that um, I cannot create so much 
page just with one kit recent, um, lately. For some reason, I want to like change it up sooner than I used to before. So that's why I made this kit fairly small compared to my other ones um, because I don't want to get burnt out by this kit too fast and um, I want to be able to enjoy the items that I put together on here without being bored. So I hope that this um, helped you put together your own kit and um, to join some of the challenges that are out there. So I will see you when I see you. Bye guys! Thank you.